My name is Prasanna. This work was done in collaboration with my co-authors at UMass Amherst. Year over year, reports of child sexual abuse material online have grown at an alarming rate. What can we do to address this issue? Our approach is twofold. First, we aim to provide tools to assist investigators. Investigators may have to examine millions of messages even within a single case. Going through such massive amounts of data is both time consuming and mentally taxing. Hence, triage and prioritization can be very helpful. Secondly, we hope to reduce future instances of this horrible crime by informing the public and researchers about what's actually happening in these websites. In particular, the vast majority of the research in this field has been conducted either on very small data sets or on data sets where undercover agents pretend to be minors. We were provided access to a chat data set containing more than 3 million messages between real minors and perpetrators. Using this data set, we aim to supplement existing literature by comparing our findings to theirs. More concretely, here are our contributions. We introduced techniques to triage messages and conversations in a child victimization corpus. Our approach to triaging messages involves labeling messages with labels of interest to an investigator. We created a labeled data set with labels of interest to law enforcement. We then train various supervised and unsupervised models on this task. BERT, which is now a relatively small transformer model, easy to train, performs very well on this data set. K-means on word -vec vectors was the best unsupervised model. Ultimately, we show that labels, uh, if the labels of interest are known, even uh, a small label data set can help train a very good supervised uh, model. We then introduce a new technique to cluster conversations based on temporal patterns and uh, visualize the cluster centers of these conversations. We then perform a qualitative analysis to, uh, to evaluate our clusters. Uh, we see some clusters on the right. In cluster 14, for example, the conversations in this cluster have a gradually increasing number of persuasive, uh, persuasive messages and sexual messages. This can indicate grooming. In contrast, cluster 19 has very few sexual messages and mostly contains casual conversations. With our goal of informing the public and researchers, we try to point out some behavioral patterns in our data set related to IP addresses and conversations. We compare and contrast some existing theories to behaviors we observe in this data set. We quantify the types of messages by, uh, sent by perpetrators and minors, which could help undercover agents more accurately portray minors. Um, that's it for my presentation. Thank you.